We begin by differentiating the given function. So f dash x is equal to x square minus 4 times e raised power minus 4x. Now in order to determine the extremas of the given function, we set f dash x is equal to 0, which implies that e raised power minus 4x times x square minus 4 is equal to 0. Now e raised power minus 4x is never equal to 0 and therefore x square minus 4 has to be 0. In other words, x is equal to plus or minus 2. Now in order to determine whether we have a maxima or a minima at these points, we determine the value of f double dash x. This is equal to 2x times e raised power minus 4x plus x square minus 4 times the differential of e raised power minus 4x, which is minus 4 times e raised power minus 4x. Taking e raised power minus 4x common, in the brackets we have 2x minus 4x squared plus 16. This implies that the value of f double dash x at x is equal to 2 is equal to e raised power minus 8 times in the brackets 4 minus 16 plus 16, which is equal to 4 times e raised power minus 8, which is positive, and therefore the function achieves a minima at x is equal to plus 2. Similarly, the value of f double dash x at x is equal to minus 2 is equal to e raised power 8 times minus 4 minus 16 plus 16, which is equal to minus 4 times e raised power 8, which is negative, which implies that the function achieves a maxima at the point x is equal to minus 2. Therefore, the given function fx has two extremas at x is equal to plus 2 and minus 2, both of which lie in the interval minus 4 to 4.